guys, tons of work went into this one today. Uh, so, don't normally ask this at the beginning, but I'll, I'll ask it now. Hey, if this video helps you, like, subscribe to the channel, share it with a friend that doesn't know what the hell to do with the Rampage decos. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. If you really love me, check me out over at twitch.tv slash sdshepard or uh, pick up a copy of the game Sunbreak over at my nexus.gg page. All right, with that out of the way, uh, let's get right into the numbers. So, Rampage Decorations uh, added uh, as a replacement for the actual Rampage and Ramp Up skills from Rise uh, allows a lot more modularity, a lot more customization. Now, these things, we had a general idea of how powerful they were in, in Rise, and th that hasn't changed too much but a lot of the numbers have been tweaked uh, in some somewhat surprising ways. So I'm gonna I'm gonna lead off with maybe the most important decoration because this is the one that you'll probably be using the most, and that is the anti wyvern rampage decoration. Uh, it affects all sorts of monsters, anything as long as you go to the stat sheet and it says you know bird or flying or what have you. Uh, wyvern will work on it. And so the way I did my testing is I took a Somnicanth Greatsword and I took the Goat Greatsword. Uh, both have blue sharpness, both have 260 raw. Uh, only difference is we've got a little bit of fire damage, actually quite a bit of fire damage on our Goat Greatsword. And I just went around testing this on as many things as I could. So uh, using Great Baggy as our first test subject, we tried out an original hit. Uh, and then I added the Rampage decoration. We got an additional 7 raw damage, uh, which, accounting for rounding, seems to be about 5% more damage. And then we took our Crimson Goat, and that did 154 damage. And then with the, the Wyvern deco added, it still looks like if you get rid of the elemental damage, it only adds 5% raw. So the anti-wyvern decoration is a 5% raw damage increase on anything that it shows that it includes there, which is an awful lot of things. Uh, while I was at it, I tried out the Elemental Bane. Elemental Bane uh, took our 29 fire damage up to 35, which is about a 20% elemental damage increase. Uh, pretty huge on super elemental heavy weapons. Uh, obviously, Elemental Bowgun, I think, would really want to use Elemental Bane if they could. Uh, dual Blades, depending on the matchup, you know, as long as something is taking at least 25% or more elemental damage, Elemental Bane will trigger. Uh, whether or not it's worth using is still debatable. You know, if the thing's got 25% elemental weakness, but it's a 90% raw hit zone, I'd say raw is still better. But, you know, if it's somewhere in the middle, you know, maybe like 50 or 60% raw and like 30 plus element, uh, Elemental Bane could be better, uh, even on the dual blades. Did some further testing with Anti-Aquatic. We got very similar results as our Anti-Wyvern Deco. We tried this out on the Daimyo Hermitar. My testing shows that it's, again, about 5% increase on your damage for Raw. And, again, it does not apply to your elemental damage at all. Anti-Aerial, I went ahead and because uh, Wyvern covers all normal flying dragons, I wanted to make sure Anti-Aerial still worked against any sort of flying elder. So Wyvern Decor Decoration Rampage uh, doesn't affect elder dragons, but Anti-Aerial, as long as the elder dragon is flying, does appear to still be a 5% damage increase. Again, uh, there was no increase to the elemental damage here. Okay, so next up we tried Fanged Exploit, uh, increased damage to Fanged Beasts against Goss Harag. Uh, as expected, we ended up seeing about a 5% raw damage increase to our raw power. And at this point, you could probably expect there is no change to the elemental damage that we did. Defense Edge does exactly what it says it does. If you're blocking with a weapon uh, that would normally uh, have sharpness loss because it was a heavy knockback or whatever, like great sword or uh, sometimes charge blade, uh, this prevents sharpness loss. Not great. Uh, but I, I guess there could be some situations where you may want to have that. Uh, Brutal Strike, interesting. Uh, I forget if this technically got buffed or not. Uh, basically, it makes it so if occasionally on a negative critical hit. Normally, when you do a negative critical hit, you lose 25% raw. What this does 
is makes that chance to go uh, from minus 25% to 150% of your raw damage. So I wouldn't normally run this if you love to run a bunch of utility skills and for some reason you just don't want to fit in crit. And you've got a weapon that say has minus 30% affinity. I could see this maybe being okay. Uh, again, you got to compare this to just straight up getting additional 5% damage from using the correct rampage up. But um, I could I could see for somebody that wants to have like a, a real bear suit, just a ton of defensive skills, running this as a, in lieu of running any uh, affinity skills. I uh, wanted to try out the elemental blight. Uh, I was going to originally do water blight and I, I thought, wait, that might screw up the damage calculation. So we're just testing snow blight. I'm assuming this is the same for everything. Uh, we tested this against an Izuchi. Uh, my initial tests show that it gives an additional 10% raw damage, and uh, as usual, it does not change our elemental damage. Small Monster Deco Huge, uh, great farming tool in the original game, uh, appears to give an additional 50% raw damage. Uh, I didn't bother testing element on this one. Um... Could be nice against the spiders, you know, spiders throw out their little spiders or sometimes they're just on them anyways, and you don't have any other decorations that might work on them other than maybe Elemental Bane. So if you've only got like a level two or level one rampage slot and you don't have Elemental Bane available to you, um, maybe maybe consider running Small Monster. It's it's that not bad. Uh, I did way more testing on Spirit Bird than I should have. Uh, either the skill is bugged has a very low activation chain rate, or um, visually just the, the results don't change. I don't I don't really know what's going on here. Um, I wouldn't use it. Hellblight, I tried out in a couple different uh, configurations. Uh, in every configuration, it appears to just give you 12 true raw. I don't ever see this being useful. I mean, if you're fighting Magnum Allo, you could just use your appropriate anti-wyvern or fang beast, whatever he is, decoration. And that should always be more damage. Uh, maybe if you were trying to get, like, Hellblight on top of, like, a charge blade? If maybe the impact files aren't affected by the other rampage decorations? I don't know. I didn't test that. But, um, it seems bad. Don't use it. Uh, and in in terms of Rampage decorations that are bad and don't use it, uh, Camellio's Soul uh, was really bad in the original, and it's still really bad. I, I tested this out on Zenogre in the arena for a while. Occasionally, I saw I got healed a tiny bit, um, or I got a small defense boost. I think it's limited to once every 60 seconds. Uh, they could take this and make it once every 20 seconds, and it would still maybe not even be worth it, so... Um, not good. Don't use it. Teostra Soul, pretty straightforward. Uh, takes your blast damage, increases it by 20%. Uh, I can think of one monster in the game that you might be able to think of as well that this might be okay on if you're already using a blast weapon, if you've got no other decorations that are going to do anything. Um, I could see this being an, a, an okay damage boost in, in that one situation. But otherwise... Um, I wouldn't use it. It doesn't, doesn't, n not anything compared to any other Rampage decorations. Hellion mode, major nerf, used to be 100%, now it's 20%. Uh, I really wouldn't use this, if only because the next decoration is about that, but it's always available, which is the Kushala. Uh, Kushala did get a nerf, uh, it now goes from 5 to 15%. But at the very least, those 15% is up when you're in Archdemon mode, whereas Hellion, it's only available um, whenever you're Demon mode. Yeah, as for Kushala, you know, would you take 15% increased affinity? I could see there being some builds where it's close, you know, if, if you're not going to be capping out your crit. So you have to think about it, you know, with full crit boost, 10% additional affinity is in theory 4% more raw damage. So you would need to be kind of running both full crit boost and full elemental crit, and then even then potentially be fighting something where the anti-wyvern deco didn't work on something, where I would consider running Kushala Soul, but it's not 
completely useless. It's it's still got a place because there's still some monsters where you're not going to get the anti rampage deco working anyways. So it, it, it could be okay. Ibushi Soul, um, you know, I only I only had parts for four pieces. I'm not going to test this too much. I got 25 defense. It's terrible. What I mean, this should give a hundred defense and like max out your resistances or something. This is a, 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 terrible. Uh, Narwhal Soul, same thing. I only made three pieces. I'm sorry. Uh, I, it looks like 5% per piece. Full Narwhal set, you might get 25%, but then you got a garbage armor set, so I don't, I don't really know what the point of this is. Very odd. Valstrax Soul uh, does exactly what it says. Um, 20% more dragon damage when you are afflicted with Dragon Blight. So uh, that's pretty good. You know, that's kind of like having Elemental Bane, except it doesn't have to be a elementally weak area. I guess. But then again, if you're using a specific elemental skill against something that isn't weak to element, what are you doing in the first place? So uh, kind of odd. Um, glad it exists. I just don't, I don't see myself ever really using it. Switcher decoration, switch axe, uh, very inconsistent. It feels like which attacks this actually affects. It would appear that on uh, switching into sword mode, it gives 5% more damage to your file. Uh, may maybe because that dragon file is just a heavy element file and it's not actually affected by the, the, the file as much. Not good. Doot range, uh, surprisingly, not even as effective as you would expect a level two decoration rampage slot to be. Uh, if you are splitting up zones between you and your teammates, if you're still reasonably close to each other, it might help you apply your buffs to them. Uh, really bad. Uh, don't use it. Uh, Defense Master, interesting. Uh, if it gave more guard back, it could actually be a very interesting way to maintain sharpness, possibly on something like a, a lance. Uh, very unlikely, but also possible on a gun lance. Um, not great, but definitely not the worst in terms of the Rampage decos we've seen. Okay, and last up here is Buddy Rally. Uh, Buddy Rally is interesting. It's only a level one deco slot. Probably at its best value if you're playing solo, even more so if you're using something like Hunting Horn, you might be able to buff your pets up. Uh, just gives them a flat out 10% boost to their raw and defense. Uh, pretty good. You know, I mean, if you think about the value that you have, whether you're running, uh, you know, a, a melee focused fighter cat or, I mean, even a bomb cat, along with maybe even just running two Palamutes, 10% is is a pretty huge boost to the amount of damage that they'd be doing and uh and then an extra 10 percent on their defense on top of that is also a really really big defense boost you'll see them healing a lot less and able to take at least you know maybe another one or two hits so for a, a level one decoration i'd say don't sleep on it you know there's not that many weapons in the game that only have a level one uh, deco slot. But again, the situations where your specific anti wyvern deco or whatever isn't applicable, maybe consider running this. And again, if you're running something like, you know, double Palamutes with Hunting Horn anyways, yeah, maybe consider running it anyways, because that's that's gonna be quite a bit of damage that you're, you're adding on top of them in addition to yourself. Uh, last up is this uh, Worm Stake upgrade skill. Uh, my only curiosity is, can it take a level 8 shelling worm stake up to, like, a theoretical level 9? And it can't. So, otherwise, it's exactly what you'd want it to be. If you've got a gun lance you like to use, you plan to use a lot of worm stakes, and it's level 7 or lower. And it's got a level 3 rampage slot. It'll work. I still would have to imagine that in almost every situation, an anti-specific species decoration will be better. But... Someone out there with a very heavy artillery playstyle that has something that they love for some reason, for some gun lance, it does have a use. All right, so that's it for now. Again, uh, tons of work, tons of research went into this. If you liked the video, I would really appreciate it very much. Like, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. 
know a bunch of you aren't, uh, check out the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash sdshepard. Nexus.gg, we got uh, copies of the game for sale if they're still in stock. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys soon. Until next time, I love you. Good luck. Have a good hunt.